Hello there everyone and welcome back. So we're taking a look once again at my World War One German infantry uniform and I've gone ahead and bought some new stuff so I thought I might as well do an update video and show you the latest gear. Most of it is hanging on the back of my belt so we cannot see it right now but you can see the rifle which is a soft air gun rifle which I was able to buy uh, at a reasonable price actually so I got it and also it's similar enough to a Gewehr 98 because it has the same bolt so I so I got it. I also got a Gewehr strap as we can see it there um, so I can hang it over my shoulder I've also gone ahead and switched out the the belt there across my waist so it's now brown to match the rest of my gear. Uh, we can see a bit here on the back, we can see the backpack, we can see the bread bag there below and now we can also see the uh, canteen hanging there in the middle. We can also see the Feldspaden and my bayonet there in the back. It's actually a in a bayonet from World War One, from 1915, and uh, I've got a nice stamp there on the back showing that it is from 1915. And uh, yeah, here we go ahead and show you the um, soft air gun. It is the Chinese version of the Car 98, so it's called the Shanghai Shek model. Um, is is it was it, it it was referred to as the Shanghai Shek model, um, and here we I'm showing off the uh, the strap there, which is a Gewehr strap. Obviously, it's a bit of a, it. It doesn't fully work since uh, this version, the or I should say, the Gewehr was about 15 or 16 centimeters longer, at least. Uh, than the uh, this version, so it doesn't fully fit. And also, I don't have the the uh, I was putting it on there the parade uh, hook, and I don't have so I can fasten it properly for the parade hook. Um, and here we go ahead and show you that I can actually put the bayonet on there. Now it's a soft air gun, and the bayonet is real, so it's a bit heavy on the front. Uh, so I'm a bit worried like I cannot really st go ahead and stab anything with it I'll probably break something off um, but it's quite nice that it actually fits on there it's a bit hard to get off though that I'll show you later uh, most of this stuff here though is just to give you an overall picture of how my gear looks right now um, and then I have made a few other smaller videos here of... Uh, well, it will be in this, but I've recorded some other stuff that will mix in with this, edit in with this, to show you a close, uh, show a closer look of the different gear. It might be harder to uh, look at the stuff in the back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull off the backpack right now which goes pretty quickly. It's got a lot of stra uh, uh, sort of easy uh, detachable straps so if you need to remove that for combat it goes rather quickly and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some maybe I'm, sh I'm shooting the wall maybe some some neighbors neighbors dog maybe Maybe he's a traitor, who knows? Uh, let's see, maybe I'll... yeah. We'll see. I haven't found a good way to pull the bayonet off. And... Uh, it's quite difficult to... It's sort of the, the spring thing you have to sort of pull away at is sort of awkwardly placed. So uh, I haven't found a real good way of pulling it off. Um, but yeah. I think we'll go ahead and show now a bit, a bit of a closer look at the new gear. I should say, if 
Um, you haven't seen the first one, I'll link that one below um, so you get a view of that. And yeah, you uh, yeah, if you haven't seen that, you probably should watch that before you watch this one. So uh, you'll see a bit more of uh, of what I got, and I'll talk a bit more about the uniform and stuff. And there we go, I had have a little bit more of a spin. And uh, off we go to take a look at some of the other stuff. And now we're taking a look at what's around my waist. We can see here that I've changed out the belt, so now it's a brown one to match the rest of the stuff. Then we got the two ammo pouches. We see the bread bag, and on the bread bag we have the canteen. Then below the bayonet we have the Feldspaden and uh, the correct way of uh, sort of strapping it on. I, I, I think I've put a picture somewhere when someone commented on that and it was just a temporarily, temporary um, setup. Anyways, we'd go on ahead and take a look at the bayonet here, which as I said is an actual bayonet from World War one, 1915. Uh, it's been polished though, as we can see, it's quite shiny, so it has been polished up uh, from all the uh, sort of rust and grime. Um, and as a result of that, it's lost some of the markings. Uh, so I don't know what regiment this was issued to, if it was issued to a regiment because those stamps are not visible anymore. Um, and yeah, more of a closer look here at the this stuff, I think. Uh, that's about it for that. Let's go ahead and look at some of the other stuff. Okay, so now we are looking at the backpack and I wanted to show you a bit about that. Uh, we're going to show the the strap there, which has a, a hook, which is uh, very sort of a very easy release if you want to get rid of the backpack, and it actually hangs pretty well. Um, you would think that maybe it would quite easily sort of um, get off the hook, but so far it hasn't. And uh, go ahead and show a bit more of it. Showing a bit of the... I think I'm going to open it now. Just I'm going to open one of them. Just to show you a bit of the inside. There's an extra bag inside. Uh, with some straps. Uh, that you can use if you want to strap a great coat uh, to the back of this. See if I can pull that out. It took me actually quite a while to realize how to fully uh, sort of um, adjust the straps to uh, fit on me because they were quite uh, too large in the beginning. Uh, but there's a number of ways. You can uh, do it on the... F I think well, actually I'm going to show you. So we can wait till I actually point out the different points where you can uh, where you can sort of fix it so it hangs correctly on your back uh, there we got one side and let's see where am I going right I'm strapping everything down Right, so at first I was just using the ones there in front, those guys, to uh, sort of uh, fix it, but it wasn't really, it was hanging a bit too low on the back, and then I realized I had to actually go ahead and change these button out, and sort of make, change that to improve it, and then you can also change here to make it, uh, those straps that will sort of go from the, the front to the back, on the side of your body, sort of, uh, not underneath your armpit, but a lower, um, so yeah. And uh, yeah, that's about it. 
Right, we're taking a closer look at the soft air gun. Uh, as I said, it was a Chinese version, the Chiang Kai Chek model. It was actually the last uh, model they were selling on the website that I got it from. Um, and uh, yeah, I was pretty pleased, mostly because uh, the bolt there, which looks like the Gewehr one. Although, as you can see, it still has the sort of groove there for the uh, the normal Car 98 uh, bolt that will sort of um, taper with the, or sort of go down into that. Uh, and it's actually interchangeable, so I can screw that off and put in one. And here I'm just going to go ahead and show you a bit of uh, the bolt action and it is it's got that mag there which I believe have seven bullets probably or seven pellets uh, although you probably wouldn't put seven in there but it has the capacity for that and you have to bolt it for every bullet or every little uh, pellet and then we got the safety um, and you cannot uh, put the safety on unless you've actually bolted it and yeah and then I had modified it slightly to actually be able to take the uh, put the um, what's it called the sling the Gewehr 98 sling on it um, there's obviously a few other things you could modify to make it more like a 98 like you have to make it longer as I said uh, and then there's the the sight, which is a car 98 sight that you would have to change. And uh, there's a few other stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for uh, another video. Bye.